Join us as we tell the fascinating story of bouncing Bertha Seibert, a nine-year-old girl who captivated the nation's heart in 1938. Bertha Marie Seibert lived a seemingly normal life with her 71-year-old grandmother, Rebecca Jane Seibert, in the Wallens Creek section of Lee County. But things took a bizarre turn in November of that year. Starting that month, odd things began to happen in the Seibert household. Every night when the sun went down, Bertha's bed began to shake. Not just a little, mind you, but violently. Even two hefty farmers couldn't hold it down. This bed quake continued for over a month, with Bertha shaken every single night. By Christmas, news of her predicament had spread, thanks to a well-known local entrepreneur and reporter named Virgil Q. Wax, who dubbed her Bouncing Bertha. Soon, reporters from all over the country arrived, sharing lurid stories of hillbillies, witches, and demons in Appalachia. But what did the family have to say about all this? Well, her father, Frank Seibert, believed Bertha was bewitched. According to him, Bertha could command the spirit to shake her bed by saying, Shake! Shake big! But experts, like magician John Mulholland, an acquaintance of the great Harry Houdini, believed Bertha might be pulling a fast one on everyone. They thought it was involuntary muscular action, not ghosts or witches causing the bed to shake. Even two University of Tennessee professors observed and concluded it wasn't supernatural. They suggested it was Bertha's own body causing the movement. Well, Bertha's family tried everything, from singing hymns to playing what the national papers called hoedown music, but nothing worked. Her granny even left her home because she believed a ghost snatched her sweater while she sat in a rocking chair. Hundreds of people flocked to Bertha's cabin, begging her to make the ghost perform its tricks. Things got so out of hand that the Lee County Sheriff had to intervene when around a thousand people showed up. By spring, the bed stopped rocking and rolling, and before long, things got back to normal in the Seibert household. Bertha grew up, moved away, and got married. She passed away in 1986. And there you have it. The curious case of bouncing Bertha Seibert a mysterious chapter in the history of Appalachia. Thanks for watching.